welcome back to my tutorial we have another look for you all today it's very simple and very basic but we go deep and dive into the skin prep we talk about color correcting and talk about um skin i mentioned that um we <laughs> we also do a lot of product placement and like where things should go and how things should be placed in order to achieve this look so if you're interested in watching that please stay tuned um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with some skin prep. Um, and it's going to be the same normal things that I always use. All right, girl. Y'all don't need to see too much of this. You don't know what I'm saying. Just blah, 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 blah. Cool. And you already know I'm going to go ahead and put on that Milk Hydro um, grip primer. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and rub it in. Rub it in. Yes. Get it. So let's go ahead and get into some color correcting a little bit here. So I don't have a lot of hyperpigmentation. Thankfully, I um, my skin is pretty even, but I am a tad bit darker around my mouth. I have some dark areas along my chin, a little bit on my neck. Um, so I just wanna go ahead and, and fix those things and just kind of teach you all how to fix them if you had those issues. So I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna use this AJ Crimson palette. I'm going to use this shade so that I can color correct a little bit. Now, like I said, I don't need much because I don't have a lot going on. I do have a scar here from playing with a pimple. I have some problem areas along my chin. So as black women, we tend to get um, hyperpigmentation and that's just when there's darker areas on the skin um, opposed to the rest of the face or the body. And so I'm just placing this along my chin, a little bit around my mouth. Um, I will also do some going down onto my neck a little bit just to make sure that the makeup that I am going to apply will go on flawlessly and seamlessly and it'll all look like one color. And I just am lightly tapping on these areas that I feel are a little problematic. Not a lot of product, just lightly tapping. And then we're gonna blend it out. And I'm gonna use the butt of my um, sponge just to kind of blend that into the skin. And just notice how I am pressing into the skin. I don't wanna wipe it, cause that's essentially taking the product away. So let's go ahead and get into skin. Um, I actually am going to use um, a black opal shade. I'm gonna dip into this color right here. Unfortunately, when I created this palette, I did not like name them so i have no idea what shade this is and i probably like mix shades together anyway um but i'm gonna take my flathead brush which is by sk oh yeah so this is actually applying a little more on the orange base do you see that contrast i don't know about that y'all it's gonna add a little bit of 370. you know how like your you, you know that this is your right shade, you like you use it all the time. But then you get in front of a bright light and you're just like, is this my shade? <laughs> so now we're gonna go in with our concealer. And I'm actually, I know I normally, especially with this LA Pro Girl, I usually just um, apply it with the brush that uh, it kind of like comes with or the applicator it comes with. I'm actually gonna put some on my hand and then I'm going to apply it with a brush. So using my brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this concealer right under the eye. I'm not gonna take it past my nostrils cause this is the baggage claim area. These are where the bags are. This is where the product needs to go. It doesn't need to go any further than this. I'm gonna put some on my chin and along um, the bridge of my nose, a little bit above my forehead and also a little bit above my lip. But that's really the highlighted areas that I want to highlight. So I would say keep it there. Now this color is not like an extreme lightning color, you know what I'm saying? It's not like super bright, but we're gonna go a little bit brighter, just in certain areas, just to really get that highlighted color going. So I'm gonna use this Kevin Aquan um, Skin Finisher or something of the sort, Sensual Skin Enhancer. And I'm using that in the shade um, SX13. This is a very thick concealer. Blend like your life depends on it, girl. You don't need it to be all harsh and all of that nonsense. Go ahead and blend that out. I'm 
Don't you want to be cute? Don't you want to flourish in 2019, the rest of this, and going forward? Don't you want, like, Donald Trump to not be the president no more? Like, blend like your life depends on it, girl. The fuck? And you want to, you see how sometimes it can get a little sharp, especially going out with the sponge in this direction. You just want to blend that out. All right, so now we're gonna get into um, some comments. Normally you see me um, using the actual stick on my face, but I am going to um, use a brush this time. So I'm using my Sephora brush in number 47. It's gonna brush it across the product. Press it where I want it to normally be. And I find that it's just a softer finish. And now, okay, so with the contouring of the cheek, you want to go right below the cheekbone. That's where it needs to go. When you first start, you have so much product on the brush. And you want to start from closer to your ear down this way. The further out you go, the less product you have. You don't want to put so much product out here and then not as much up here. And it's just, it just looks a lot cleaner this way. So now we're gonna dip into my espresso, which is a little lighter. Still swiping on the brush. And gonna touch up on this forehead. And I'm just gonna push that into my hairline. And now we blend. Yes, blend them all together, marry the two, contour and concealer. Notice when I blend, I wanna blend it into my uh, concealer. I don't want there to be a harsh line. I want it to be a gradient and you can't really tell where it ends and where it begins. And just like when I was blending out my um, color corrector, you want to just tap onto the product. You don't want to swipe it. You don't want to wipe it. And I actually didn't um, contour my nose and I know my nose is small, but I just really like the way it looks to be contoured. So I'm gonna go back in on my espresso and I'm going to use this small little fluffy brush. It's still pretty dense. I don't know what song this is, so that's going. And I'm gonna go right along that line. Yep, go ahead and just blend that up into the brow. It's such a much cleaner look, I promise you. All right, so now I am going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to dip it into the uh, Fenty powder, which is in nutmeg. And I'm gonna go right underneath. And then I'm gonna take my brush and I'm going to set the rest of the face. Ain't nobody gonna blend you better. Can't nobody even say it better. So nobody gonna be it better more than I can, than I can. With extra setting with um, Derma Blend, uh, the loose powder, which is in cool beige, not my, not my shade, but I want to mix them a little bit. Y'all don't be frightened by this white under my eye. I am still a brown skin girl. All right, so let's get these brows intact. Okay, so now we're back. We have brows on. Things are happening, we're moving along. Dip into my Stila palette and I'm gonna use the darkest purple in here. Okay, so using that deep purple in that Stila palette, you're just going to pack in that color onto the lid, into your crease, and also a little up into the brow bone. So you just need a, a nice transition color. It doesn't matter if it's a purple or if it's a brown. As long as you have um, a nice transition color that you can like pack on, it's pretty normally a pretty matte color, you should be good. Okay, so now I'm going to dip into my Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette. I love this palette for everything but lips. Like, I'll use it every now and then for lips, but for the most part, I'm just using it on my eye. So I'm gonna dip into that black and I'm just gonna smoke that out on the top of my lid. So pretty much the same motion that I was doing with the purple, you're just gonna pack it on. And since this is a cream color, you're just going to blend it out a little bit more, um, but you're still packing and blending, that's it. Then I'm gonna go back into my purple. 
and I'm going to like smoke it some more above the lid. So now we're going to smoke out that bottom lash line with the purple first and then I'm going to put a little bit of a black on top of it and smoke that out together. Yep, so going along that bottom lash line, you're going to just use that purple. I'm using an angular brush, which I'm not entirely sure what the number is or where it's from. But I'm using an angular, wow, words, um, angular brush and just going to um, smoke out that bottom lash line. And then I'm going to apply a black on top. So going along my bottom lash line as well, I'm using a pencil brush to apply the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette, that black that I used on the top of my lid. I'm just using that on the bottom of my lash line and just smoking that out as well. I am going to use this Kevin Aquan uh, black liner and get right in my... Uh, waterline. I'm going to put a little bit of liner um, right above on my uh, upper lash line. Okay, so now we are tight lining the upper lash line with that black Kevin Aquan pencil and just trying to make it a little more smokier. I'm going to put some lashes on so you probably won't really even be able to see it, but I just want it to be as seamless as possible once I do put the lashes on. So then now we are going to do a little bit of blush, which I'm going to go in with this palette again. And I'm going to use this color and I'm going to mix it a little bit with this color. So I've been using this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette to do my blush recently and I'm really liking it. Um, it's like a creamy base and I just love how interchangeable makeup is and I'm just bl um, blending that out once I've applied it with my finger. We're gonna use my Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule by Fenty. One of my favorite parts about doing makeup is the highlighting. Like, it just, it's so good. Like, and I'm almost out of this Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule, but highlight my life. We're gonna spray with our all nighter. Super important, make sure you press the setting spray into your skin. It does wonders. So I'm going to start off with this Kevin Aquan um, Color and Carbon. Super dark um, purple. And then we're going to dip into this L'Oreal Infallible Color, which is in... I remember what color this is. But we're going to put that in the middle. You know, we're not even done. We're going to add one more color just to lighten it up. A tad um, And this is Sepia the Lip Gloss by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Then I'm going to throw these lashes on. And that's going to be it. It. So unfortunately, I do not remember the name of these lashes. I know they're by Kiss, but I don't know the exact name. I will have that in the description for you guys, though. They're so bomb. Thanks for joining me for another tutorial. I hope you guys learned a lot throughout this entire tutorial. I know I talked so much, but I really wanted you guys to get some product placement, some color correcting, and some steps in order to get this vampy, sexy look. Um, if you have any questions, as always, feel free to DM me, message me, whatever. Um, I'm always here for you guys. And if you have any particular looks that you think I should cover or if there are any things that you want me to go over, maybe in the next tutorial or the tutorials to come, please let me know. I'm always here for suggestions. And I had so much fun with you guys. I hope you guys had fun as well. See you next week. <laughs> Bye.